three times I've raced UTMB, I feel like I've underperformed every time. I'm not from the mountains, everything's not just common sense. I don't think any of it's not learnable. Ultimately, I want to be able to dig on race day, and I want to have the fight. If I can bring a big shovel, uh, ultimately, I'm going to be pretty happy and satisfied. I don't think it takes adjusting to all these changes to get to where I want to improve at UTMB. In a way, I'm here to be shaped by the mountains, but I think it's I'm adapting to the mountains, building a relationship with the mountains. Where are we and what are we doing? We are here in Aresh Beaufort and we are preparing to try to get some mountain legs here. Ignore my awkward walking going like this. This is what I've been doing all day. So we're standing in front of the, the new chalet. Uh, Justin and I moved here at the end of May and we feel like we got really lucky with the place. So we got the shutters open, everything was closed up when we came in and uh, we're, we're changing things now. But I switched to my indoor shoes. I always got the squishy glides, so. We're gonna get in here, we got kind of our couch, table, kitchen, the egg carton with 350 euro to give to our neighbor Noel to try to pick up some eggs. Uh, his French is very difficult to understand and uh, it's always an interesting exchange with Noel, but he's super nice and hooks us up with eggs. Uh, we got a little food pantry in here. We're lucky enough to be stocked with beer right now. Beer and cheese. We got some gnocchi and some water with gas, as they say. We got our bedroom. We have a full-size bed, which is sweet. For we got one guest bed. We got the uh, British flag toilet going on in here. I don't know what's up with this. I think that's the chalet. Home, home I think is kind of where you base your emotions and your time and energy, it's been almost easier to move quote unquote home because Jess and I are kind of doing it together and home is where we decide to plant ourselves. Uh, so we brought a couple items from to make it more homey. Uh, Jess found a frame here in France for our Grand Canyon National Park poster. Yeah, we were looking at a couple valleys uh, around the Alps and we basically settled on this one because yeah. Francois was able to connect us with Arèche Immobilier and we were able to reach an agreement to move like just up the hill from Francois. I mean, he gets in some pretty good training, so you kind of know it's a good place to base out of. So we got Mont Mireton. That one's almost 8,000. And then that one connects over to Grand Journée. The trail on the map says zigzag back and forth, but you want to be cool, you do it like Francois and you go straight up. So that's what we do. Um, but the area is famous for the Beaufort cheese, which the cows are um, acclimatized and they actually live at higher altitude. It's pretty cool, you look around and just see really steep mountains everywhere. It's green, it's lush, the forest is diverse, it's really dense when you get into the trees. Definitely the exact opposite of Flagstaff. It's capped off with granite on the top and once you get to the top of every hill you have a reminder that we're in big mountains and um, it's kind of why we're here. So traveling, I think, uh, overall went really smooth. We moved, I think, 10 
10 or 12 days after we got married. It was kind of crazy. Uh, we ended up checking way more bags than we thought. I think we had eight total bags checked and two of them were just cardboard boxes, just taped a whole bunch. But it was nice because we got to bring a lot more than what we usually travel with. Over here, we actually have a, we have Catan with the expansion pack. Jim is thrilled to be in France and he takes that with a little more grace than I do sometimes. I think he's having a blast and he loves trying to communicate with our neighbors. I mean, the biggest adjustment is obviously we don't speak French, so. We definitely feel very awkward going to the market, to the store, just doing your daily activities adds just this level of <laughs> foolishness. <laughs> In France, and the trail running community here has been extremely welcoming and wonderful. Um, it's just, of course, yes, it's going to be an adjustment because we are in a completely different culture, language, country um, than we've ever put ourselves in before. <laughs> that is not a grape. That's okay. I've normally been finding routes by looking at Strava heat map, so good thing about that is the local secrets are not so secret when it's a heat map. But today we'll start about there. We need to get to Col de Pre. We got the poles. Got the backpack. Uh, today we're going up our backyard ski hill. It's about a 1500 foot climb, then we're gonna drop pretty steep down into a rush. And then we're gonna meet back up and then start heading up Col de Pre and then hit the ridge off of the, the top of the coal. The number of times I've just stepped in cow shit out here. Well, it's more than 10 in one month for sure. Okay, I think we're set. Twice is good. Let's get some sats. Gonna get some eggs. Bonjour, Noah. Salut. Des œufs. Ouais. Ah, des œufs, j'en ai pas là. Demain. D'accord. Merci. Demain, je vivrai. Demain midi. D'accord. D'accord. Midi. So noon tomorrow. We're going this way. I'm getting ready for UTMB. I'm feeling pretty good. I think a lot of my training for Madeira earlier in the year has kind of prepared my legs. Short summary, it's all up and it's all down. The mountains here are steeper, they're more jagged, um, there's a little bit more exposure. It's very difficult to get flat. So it's really difficult on your muscles. You almost need to get a little creative with hard efforts. I would say as a Ultra runner, I've flipped 180 from training from Western States. Went from handhelds to backpack. No poles to poles. Always having the rain jacket in my pack. I think I'm still adjusting to the pace differences. In the past, like you train for UTMB, you're super pumped and motivated and you're just hammering and essentially you're kind of just running the wrong pace. Like UTMB, you gotta settle in and be comfortable moving slower. Mont Blanc, straight ahead. So, so far I think I've kind of played nice with the mountains. I've gone on more controlled training runs where I'm not finding myself in, in over my head. You do have to be careful. Um, there are some areas where you can definitely get yourself into trouble if you aren't paying 100% attention. I think one of the best parts about the mountains out here is you get caught in weather. Here, the mountains have more microclimate pockets, so as you go in valley to valley, it goes hot, cold, cloudy, sunny, dealing with the sweat, the humidity, like almost just even learning the preference of layers that I want to wear has been just different. Yeah, so here, he's still serious about his training, 
but is a little bit more relaxed about it. Things are focused on ATM, but there's all sorts of ways to take pressure off and do this and that. So I kind of jokingly say like, learning French is about the top of the list we have. The culture experience, the wine, the late dinners, the cheese. It's almost UTMB's way below that. Just seems like he's a bit happier and healthier um, and not digging himself a hole and just being able to kind of roll with what the day gives him. Running will only last for so long, uh, at, at least in the competitive aspect. But the French side of learning a culture, learning a language, like we can take that well beyond um, at least my running career. We could hit the local, um, the local lady first. Yeah, her lettuce last time was sad. Her lettuce wasn't so good. <laughs> um, well, there's markets that are available, so in theory, they grow their fruits and vegetables closer to Savoie, where we live in the area, and you shop more locally. It's better produce than the supermarket, and so and we try to do super fresh. most of our fresh food shopping here. So the first one here is pretty easy. We don't have to do too much talking. You get to grab things. Sometimes you go to a market and no touching. I was just informed that potato is pomme du terre, which means apple of the ground. Best item at the market? My favorite's the pasta because it's the simplest meal for us to prepare. It's really fresh and it's a gym. I can cook dinner when we have pasta night. <laughs> and ravioli, uh, gorgonzola, and oil. Oui, merci pour ça. Oui. Crème Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oui. Merci. Voilà, merci. This. We're gonna try this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Très bon. The Jet Rodriguez, digging in to steal second. We're at the start finish of UTMB, so today we're gonna do some, some start practice sprints. Not really. Do it. <laughs> I think in the master plan of things, I don't think it takes adjusting to all these changes to get to where I want to improve at UTMB. I think some of the simple things like not running Western States this year is probably the most important factor I can do. It's definitely not a typical race season for Jim. And I think initially in the beginning that was really hard for him. But I think ultimately it's probably what he's going to need to succeed in UTMB. It's just pretty obvious how things should come together um, to be more prepared this year. Yeah, I would just love to see Jim make it back to Chamonix. I know it's broken his spirit to just not even be able to finish the two times he's dropped out, so it would be really cool to be on the other side of that arch and see his face when he crosses the line because that's one of my favorite moments. The last three times I've ran, I've been I think, ranked the number one trail runner in the world. So I've had the number one bib. It's pretty cool the first year I was here, but then the second year it was such a disaster. So number one has not been my lucky number so far. Uh, this year, I just don't have the trail scores at this point, so um, probably won't have the number one bib. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I usually have a piece of advice that I give Jim, and it's usually Jim, don't beat Jim. <laughs> I mean, he is a great athlete, and he's super strong and talented, but I think sometimes in these races, you can't just go full 
throttle from the beginning. I think Jim feels that quote unquote crunch time is coming and getting the shovel out is coming. If anything, <laughs> I think Mont Blanc represents the goal, the purpose why I'm here. It's nice being in Arèche, a little removed from the environment of Chamonix, but um, in a way I'm here to be shaped by the mountains, but I think it's, I'm adapting to the mountains, I'm building a relationship with the mountains. You get to the top of a climb here, more than likely you're gonna see those big giant Alps in the background. So it's still looming of a reminder of the purpose why we're here.